Sports Radio, RX 93.1. And... Yeah, what if one man harnessed the power of social media to make a difference in local <laughs> communities around the world? Yes, go on, go on. We have a special guest for today, and he is on a mission to visit five countries in 15 days in one incredible journey. Yes. Ladies and gentlemen... We have a very high budget on the show, so... <laughs> <laughs> Tell us more about himself and his mission. Good morning, Henry. Good morning, Philippines. How are we? All right, hold on. All right, hold on. Let's see. Can you try that again? Let's do that again. There you go. Perfect. Okay, somebody's phone is making some. Is our tech around? Is it? Yeah, squeaky noises. Oh, there. There. Oh, there. 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 Oh, there. Oh, there. Now we got it. <laughs> Yourself to the Philippine audience. Absolutely. Uh, my name is Henry Golding. Now, I am on a mission to drive change in Southeast Asia. Um, I first started off in uh, Malaysia, went over to uh, Hong Kong, Thailand. Now I'm in the Philippines. Next stop is Singapore. But the Philippines is where it's at. I have my friend Mark with me, Mark Nelson, um, and he is my co host for this weekend. And we are driving change for the children at Smoky Mountain. That's right. Uh, now. The... Okay, wait a minute. Yes. Okay. Let me see. Okay. It's all, have... it's all up here. Oh, there, there. Okay. There we go. Okay, I'll just, I'll just stay way back up here. <laughs> um, okay. No. Do you, can you hear it? Hear it? It's I kinda... do. Oh, really? Do you? I do. Okay. Well, here. maybe Chico can share the microphone. With you. I know, yeah. Mark. Why don't you? Use it? Okay. All right. <laughs> <laughs> so, right get, getting back there. On. That's better. There. All right. Getting back on topic, guys. Um, we are, of course, uh, trying to help the children of the Smoky Mountain. Uh, there is a sports field there, and we have 2,000 very, very needy children that are in dire need of sports equipment. So what we're asking for are donations from people, uh, donations of their old sports equipment. If you know any companies out there that might have old shoes, uh, footballs, baseball uh, mitts, anything, uh, please donate that. And also, if you want to donate cash, then you can do that too. Any, um, any kind of sport? Um, yeah, it could be shoes, it could be socks, it could be pants, it could be shirts. Um, all donations to be dropped off at uh, 17 selected Caltech stations around uh, Manila. Right. Um, and all of those will be making its way to Smoky Mountain on Sunday, where we will be trying to gather together a team to have a little football match. Oh, a team of celebrities, oh, guys. Yes, yeah, so hint, hint. So if you guys are free on Sunday, ahem, <coughs> 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 Yes. I don't say sure. you want to play football. Are you daring the, the, the both of them? I'm challenging them, yes. Yes. Yeah. Ooh, 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 ooh. Oh, me? Do you know? <laughs> you really? Oh, this, Mark, this is you're, my... you are not... Uh, you're you're not you're a cheater. Do you see how athletic looking we are? <laughs> <laughs> I look like I can kick a ball. I'm wearing Star Wars headphones. <laughs> how much was it? Well, Just we imagine can... a Star Vader's head. Come on. Hey, yeah. That actually yeah. worked. That yeah. might work. But keep in mind, this, of, oh, of, this whole project is for the children. The right. children of right. the Philippines right. uh, who are underprivileged of Smoky Mountain, and I'm sure, I don't know if you've been out there, I have, yeah, I yeah, have yeah. been out there yet, yeah. Mark's been yes. over there, yeah. and he says it's shocking, um, it and is. we want to do and make as much change as possible, yeah. so that's with it. your help, we could do it. That's nice, yeah. that's so cool! Yeah, as he said, it's for the kids, so uh, so if you don't want, if you're not helping, then obviously you don't like, love children. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> it's as simple as that, yeah. yeah. It's as simple okay. as that, guys. Wow. Um, <laughs> Count us in there! <laughs> But uh, you can log on to uh, drivingchangewithcaltex.com. That'll tell you which uh, particular particular Caltex stations you can drop off your donations at. Um, you can also make cash donations there. And uh, if you're following us on Twitter, please look at at Caltex for the number four change at Caltex for change and hashtag I'm driving change. All right. So you, I have a question for Henry. Yeah, I mean, go for it. What do you think is the most challenging part of your mission here? Uh, I think the most challenging aspect has to be the fact that I have no idea what I'm going to be doing uh, when I reach these countries. So I arrive on a Friday, like yeah. this morning, uh, I meet up with my co-host, who is Mark this time around. Did you guys know each other before? No, no, no. no. Oh, um, I've, I've definitely heard of Mark. I've, yeah, I've seen I've his yeah, I've heard uh, of, uh, Who hasn't heard of Mark? <laughs> exactly. <laughs> that is exactly why yeah. I wanted to get Mark on board, because 
this project is about social media. It's about harnessing the power yeah. of what we have at our fingertips, on our phones, on our computers, to spread the word right, right. that people out there, the community needs to change, and we need to drive that change. So. Um, is it a challenge for you that, I mean, this is your first time in the Philippines. Well, like I say, it's a, it's a first time in the Philippines. When I arrived to the Philippines, I have no idea what kind of challenge I'm up for. Mm -hmm. uh, we've been raising cash, we've been uh, building libraries, we've been changing learning centers. Um, this time around, it's to raise 2,000 pieces of equipment for 2,000 kids mm -hmm. uh, for Smoky Mountain, which will make a huge difference. Um, but again, I didn't know that this morning. And, and so, oh. me... So, me being, well, this being my first time in the Philippines, it's a shock. So basically for every uh, every country that you go to, it's a different challenge. Yes. yes. Like uh, for here, you're, you're focusing on sports equipment and helping people out with uh, with, uh, with basically the sports equipment they need. What, what else did you do in the other countries? Or um, I In Malaysia, we our target was to raise 30,000 ringgit. We okay. raised 310,000 ringgit. Oh, wow. Um, in Hong Kong, it was to uh, sort of refurbish a learning center in Shai Tin. Right. Uh, in Thailand, we went right deep into the uh, into the Thai sort of country, in the heart of the country, with Woody, uh -huh. this exceptionally amazing guy, and uh, we built a library for these children in the middle of these paddy fields. Really beautiful. You built and, uh, a library. We built a library. What do you library. mean you built a library? You got to bear hands. You, you got to check out drivingchangewithcaltex.com because yeah. we've got all, oh, all the videos. There. You know, of like, how we did it. you were talking about different countries and different challenges <coughs> per country, but what about the you know? These are different cultures, yeah. and you know. And remember, you're trying to ask for uh, the support of the locals, yeah. and is, isn't it difficult? Like, remember, Filipinos are very different from Thais. We're very different from Malaysians. Malaysians very different from Singaporeans. Well, that, how do you do? How do you handle all the different cultures? Mark, that is where Mark handle. comes into it. <laughs> yeah, yeah, that's that's how you have a co yeah, yeah, exactly. So, so uh, the uh, the specialist on the Philippines is someone who's actually not Filipino. <laughs> yeah. 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 Great, yeah. great job, guys. Yeah. 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 But Mark, you are an honorary Filipino. That's, right. Thank you very much. Right. Uh, I'm, I'm very Filipino at heart, and this is uh, the country that I, I love, and uh, I'm sure that uh, anyone watching this from overseas, and, and Henry as well, will learn to fall in love with the Philippines as well, and see the generosity that Filipinos have for their fellow man. I mean, we've seen it during the floods, during Ondoy and everything, how everyone wants to come out and really help. help. Mm -hmm. And so we're calling on the Filipinos to try and help. I mean, these are 2,000 kids, um, and they're living in, I mean, they're living in Smoky Mountain. They're basically living on a trash heap. Mm -hmm. uh, right. but this, literally. But this, literally. Yeah, yeah, but this sports field has been around for a while. It just need, it needs a bit of uh, care oh, and attention. Right. But uh, these kids, um, sometimes they can't play a game of football for three weeks because their, their one football has a hole in it. Oh, wow. They don't need. They don't have shoes, so you know. Sometimes you'll have. You'll have. Uh, okay, here you use the left shoe, and I'll use the right shoe, sort of thing. Um, like yeah. if you're left-footed, just use this one instead. Of, yeah, that's. But but also, yeah. you recently had some typhoons, and the typhoon yeah. had a big problem with the flooding. Right, yeah. right. And they can't use it until it goes down. So we need to try to come up with measures. So it's not only sports equipment as such. But it's in general to help also out that awareness. Area. Yeah, you know, an event like this makes people aware of the problem that's already been there. Yeah, yeah. Right? and you know, because it's kids, you know, like you know, you would you would probably think that. Uh, you know, more important things like food, shelter, but you know what? These are kids, yeah. and they need to be able to be kids and play football and right. enjoy their childhood. Right? Exactly. Lest you turn out like us. Okay, I have a question. So, yeah. Henry, you've been chosen to do this, right? Visit five countries for yeah. 15 days. Now, okay, the background on Henry is, before Henry Golding was a TV star, did you guys know that he was a hairstylist? I was. You yes. are? I am. So I'm day. having a bad hair day. You had a bad hair day? Had and I known you that you were that coming, I would have, you know. Right. On the day that I decided not to wear gel. Right. So, okay, so you were um, a hairstylist before becoming a TV star. Yes. You moved to Asia to pursue your dreams in, of working in the entertainment industry. Yep. And you got your first break when you were selected to host a live evening variety show called the 8TV Quickie. That's right. Why did Caltex choose you? Um, I think it's uh, the mere fact that everybody and anybody should be a part of um, making change in their community. And it just so happens that because of my international upbringing right. and, right, and uh, I've been involved in a few charities in the past, and um, I'm actually, to be honest with you, I'm really lucky they chose me. Right, uh, right. And I am totally blessed because I get to spearhead a movement around Southeast Asia which really impacts the people who need it the most. Because most people, which is not to belittle it, but they yeah. will be able to help 
their own area. Yeah. You're helping five countries yes. in a matter of just 15 days. Countries that you've actually never even been to right. before. Like yeah, and imagine yeah. if, you, if you were a, a hairstylist and then now you're everywhere, technically, your hair there and everywhere. <laughs> <laughs> Have you lined that up? <laughs> oh, 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 beautiful. Oh, yeah. Yeah. I'm going to say, that was pretty good. Exactly. Yeah, I'll give you that one. Give me a high five. Yeah. <laughs> Exactly. Now, uh, if you want to know which specific gas stations, then yes, you just please. need to uh, check out. Because you need to know what's near you. Exactly. Uh, DrivingChangeWithCaltex.com. All of the details are right there. So there you uh, go. They're very, very nice. They're going to be delivering all of the uh, the donations to us. But it's not only uh, donations, physical donations. Mm -hmm. You can also wire money if you're. Uh, <laughs> yeah. If you if, if you're, you're willing, able. if you're you willing have it anyway. able. Yeah. Um, right. All the details and the uh, online sort of donations will be going through the website DrivingChangeWithCaltex.com. Um, but again, also time. Time right. is right. our greatest commodity in, in the 21st here. century. So, Chico, uh, Gino, Gino, and Delamar. Delamar, we're going to ask you on air can you commit to coming and helping us out on Sunday? <laughs> <laughs> For the children of the Philippines and to leave, because I've heard that RX 93.1 are the most giving radio <laughs> in the whole of the Philippines. Yes, you know what? And G they love helping their local charities. Actually, Gino and I will donate our time. Del will donate money. The money. <laughs> <laughs> She'll take care of the financial side of things. No, I mean, you can count on our support. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> no, it's the accent. It's the British accent. I'm sorry. Uh, if you only knew what that word meant. No, <laughs> I do. No, it's the accent. Support. Support. Wait, is that a question? <laughs> <laughs> is that a question for our guests? Because I think that's, you know... Count on our well, support. You're going to have to put me in on this one. Yeah, I'll tell you later. I'll tell you I'm not going to believe what he just said. No! Right now we're having accent. Yeah. It's a British accent. Right, right, right. Okay, so, uh, you're, so uh, Henry was just telling us that you are of different... You come from um, an interracial marriage. Yes. Um, which is why, this is probably why you couldn't be accessible to all well, of the countries, right? Me and Mark make one whole Asian. Oh, yeah. you're right. <laughs> yeah. oh my gosh. One whole Asian and one whole Caucasian. Yeah, there you go. Yeah. Oh, yeah, right. You make one English person and one mixed race. But, but I think yeah. that's that's the beauty of Southeast Asia is that we've got so much diversity at our fingertips. I think so too. Right? Um, and that's what makes us so unique, right? Like both of you could pass off as Filipinos. That's right. right. Thank Thank you. You. You could, right? Yeah. yeah, take that as a compliment. Yeah. 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 Pino power. Oh, yeah. <laughs> even even if you were to go to Hong Kong. Even if you go to I mean, any other yeah, countries right. that right. you've been in, you can blend, you'll blend in. in. Yeah. That's why. So you're saying we're just average looking? Yeah. Uh, <laughs> yeah, yeah we, we, we're from that, we're What from an guys. average that is. <laughs> we're from that, uh, that, that country, Eurasia. Uh. Uh. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Oh, one, last, uh, one last call. Can you address all the people listening? Yeah, guys, um, uh, follow us on Twitter. Uh, my personal Twitter is at Quick Off the Mark. That's Mark with a C. Henry's is? At Henry Golding. And also uh, at Caltex for Change. But the most important uh, <coughs> website is definitely drivingchangewithcaltex.com. All the information about our mission uh, at Smoky Mountain will be on there. Ways that you can donate, ways that um, you, can help out. you can help out. Yeah, exactly. Yep. And you know what? Uh, if people would want to tweet something about it, they can use hashtags, right? Yep, right. they can hashtag I'm driving change, that's I am driving change. Or hashtag Caltex for change. Right. Is this yes. coming out on TV also? This is coming out on uh, National Geographic as well as uh, Star World channels. Oh, right, because you came with the, with the, with the cameras. With the cameras. Yeah. Oh, hey, oh you noticed them? <laughs> <laughs> I didn't oh, even oh, notice. So and you know, if, it's, uh, if you're showing this on TV, could you uh, choose my best name? <laughs> <laughs> which is from the back of the head. Like, yeah. Oh, quit. No, I, I see the cameraman going. Oh, <laughs> no, there is no. So. There's no. no there's no. We're not being well enough. So, again, the day is uh, when? Sunday. Well, our, Sunday. Uh, we, yeah, our mission starts uh, now. Officially starts now, but now. it finishes 11 a.m. on Sunday. Sunday. Yeah. 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 Yeah.
um, as much as we can. Right. Uh, all the donations. All the donations yeah. by that time. And Is then there a culminating activity for you after the five countries that you visited? What happens? I mean, um, how do you cap it all off? Sleep. <laughs> Are people like joining you? Um, no, I think I think it's. I mean, each country we, we've celebrated so much because we've right. achieved so much, and that's only due to the help of the nation that we're in. The you Filipinos, know, the, uh, the, the, Thais, Hong Kong, the Hong Kong guys, right, right. the Thais, Malaysians. the Malaysians. Everybody's gathered together and, and put their part in. I guess depending on how this uh, goes, mm -hmm. you'll probably do it again. Fingers crossed. I hope so. Yeah, yeah, so. Right. Expecting more change. Alright. Okay, so you can uh, count us in, and uh, we will try. Uh, yeah. <laughs> no, there's a, that are, we are we actually going to play football? Yeah, well, you can, you can be a referee no, okay. or a sideline guy. Can thank we you. be like the cheerleaders? <laughs> Absolutely. We're actually pretty good cheerleaders. We'll bring skirts and pom poms. Okay, okay, done. He'll take care of the skirts, <laughs> so I'll take care of the pom poms. <laughs> I'll drive. <laughs> Thank you very much. Thank you very much. But you guys are doing a good job. Just keep it up. Yay. All right, here we go. We're going to take this break and come right back with the final, final 17 minutes of the morning rush. Morning rush. Let's have a picture of the